Jürgen, what was your what was your view of the game today, please? Happy with the point, or do you feel you could have gone more? I'm okay with the point. I saw the game, so I know we could have won. But I saw the game, we could have lost as well. So um, that's how it is. I think we had the last chance of the game, right? Probably that would have been a great moment <laughs> to finish it off. But we had a really good start into the game. I liked that a lot. Everything was there, what we were working on. Um, scored two wonderful goals. One disallowed for offside. I was really close. The, 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 the build-up to that goal was anyway absolutely top class. Um, but then we opened the door for for, for Chelsea. With um, we lost the ball in one or two situations, which was unnecessary. And around the second, I think the second goal was after set piece. I don't know, but I'm sure. So like the other goal when we we won the ball, we had the ball, and then we didn't clear it enough. So, but it was offside as well. So, but obviously Chelsea was then better in the game and um, was an open game then. And second half with the crowd and um, all these things, we had to dig really deep and fight hard. And in the end, we got a point, and that's okay. I saw a lot of things I liked, and of course some things I, I, I didn't like particularly. But it's um, a first game and um, and a tough place, and I'm really, I tend to see it rather positive, to be honest. And um, so far in my career. Uh, First match days were always difficult, um, and and the way game at Chelsea as a first match day is, is, is not the, is not a top draw, and so we have a point and we keep working. Can you explain the role of Gabriel in the midfield with Kalis and so poor slice or mispronouncing? What did you expect from him? What did you see? <coughs> The role of Cody Gakpo. Yeah. It was an eight. Yeah. And I had to do what an eight has to do. You want a more detailed explanation or what? Um, yeah, it's, like, it's like, you know, he's not used to that role. So. Oh, he is. He, he played that pretty much all preseason. Um, and he can play different positions. And for players, that's very important, I think, in modern football that we should get rid of these. Um, when we decided that everybody can have his own number on the back, then a two was not a two anymore, and a six was not a six anymore. So you can play a B strike and have a six. So that was the first step in the right direction. And now I think modern football is like that: that um, players can play different positions. And, and, and Dom Soboslai didn't play the position in his former club as well. Um, played them more from the wing, defensively especially. Offensively, it was more half space. Um, so the role suits him. Definitely, is for us. Is for us super important. I think today you could see the first game of this preseason. A lot of, a lot of um, um, spaces to cover, gaps to close, and that was actually our problem in the game, that we tried to close the the, the gaps by dropping instead of by stepping in, um, what we did in the beginning. And then they could find Sterling between the lines. Then James was all of a sudden in the game. Chilwell better in the game um, with these things, um, and that we could have, we should have solved it better. But the best way to to avoid these kind of things is obviously controlling the game. What we could have done because always when we, uh, when our um, when we did that, when we passed in the right moment, when we kept the ball in the right moment, then we created one one situations on the wing. So that <coughs> this was really tricky for Chelsea to to deal with, um, and so, yeah. How's that? It's it's the first game, not the last. So there's, we have a lot of things to improve, no doubt about that. But um, I saw already a, a good basis. Okay. Um, Jurgen, Mo didn't look very happy when when you took him off. Was I mean, what was your reasoning? And did you have to have a conversation with him afterwards? No, didn't have a conversation yet with him. Actually, um, Mo, I don't think you ever saw Mo um, leaving the pitch happily. I, I can't remember it. Um, that's okay. That's absolutely okay. And today, obviously, I think um, I didn't know, I didn't think in that moment about it. I didn't even know about it. Um, and that um, if he would have scored in that game, it would have not been all-time record or whatever. So I understand his disappointment, but I'm the manager of the whole team. And in that moment, we needed fresh legs. I think that made really sense for us. Um, and it's never anything to do with more or whatever or against him. Of course not. 99% um, of the things we achieved, we, we, we achieved because of him or with him. And um, so, and that he's not happy is clear. Um, I understand that, um, and that's no problem. Uh, there's been a lot of criticism of the 
criticism of players for wasting time, and that's supposedly why stoppage time is so long. But it seemed to me that all the stoppage time today was for the officials taking centre stage for making decisions on threads of offside, which is what offside is about and never was. And it seems to me that uh, the game's more about the officials than the players. <laughs> Discuss. Oh, thank you very much. You bring me in a position. So, oh, oh my God. You might write your article without uh, uh, anything from me. Um, but I didn't see it that way today, so it's it's absolutely clear. Um, I think last season was uh, some teams stretched it, so definitely. And we are not one of these teams. We never were. Um, and I knew we will get a yellow card. Well, probably the first yellow card for time wasting with a throw in. <laughs> so like when Trent is looking for a player, when he find, tries to find a player, this is a, a tactical thing. They cannot just take the ball and throw it. That, that this is a tactical thing. It's like Brentford. If you take the stoppage time for Trent, Brentford, when they take a free kick, for example, that takes ages because they have 500 routines. They need to clarify first and foremost which one they take. The corners the same. Nobody would think about uh, 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 their uh, giving them a yellow card. Um, and his throw-ins is the same. So maybe we have to clarify a little, that a little bit. Um, but besides that, I think too many teams, I'm not sure how to, they stretched it just, uh, they did it too obvious. And that's why everybody thinks uh, we should um, watch a bit more football. And um, so I don't know exactly what the, 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 the net ball in play time was today. Um, but that's how it is now. I, I, it was not a problem today, to be honest, for me. In the end, was, was it first half? Six or eight minutes, even first half, because of the yeah the VAR's decisions, and second half five. I think that's a lot, but that's a, this is a, a time where we do it. So try to sort it like that. I'm not sure that will last forever, but for the moment it's like that, and we have to deal with it. Last couple over here. Then we have to go. A, lot, a lot of Chelsea and Liverpool fans talking before the game about transfer window, Caicedo and Lavia. Seems that both clubs are interested. Is there anything you can say to enlighten people on what may or may not be? There's a camera. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you still need more players? I Watch was... Tilo, he wants more players. Oh. Yeah, obviously, that's what each Chelsea manager wants, and usually they get it. So, um, <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I can nothing say about that, to be honest. Last one. So, sorry. Jürgen, yeah, I saw the uh, fourth official policing where one coach can go forward yeah. at each time. Do you understand that rule? Yeah. You're it's in a Champions League like that, anyway. I, th I think it's only for one team a real problem. Newcastle. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Um, no, no, it was uh, it obviously the, the, we have first team coaches, we have assistants, and they are all lively and it's absolutely fine. And we get up, I, we have just to get used to it a bit around the set piece. Pete Carpet, so we got up, and then um, the fourth official told me, yeah, you can't say, okay, what happens when I, if I sit down? Yeah, then you can, yeah, good, and I sit down. It's absolutely fine. So we, we had, need to get used to it, but it's, um, it's fine. Thank you, everyone. Welcome. Thank you. See you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you.